Hello everyone, this is Amit and I welcome all of you to this session, Introduction to Java Servlet. First, let us take a look to the topic to be covered in this session. In this session, you will learn about the basic concepts of web and web application. So after understanding the concept of web and web application, you will learn about what is the relation between web and http after understanding the difference between web and http you will learn about the basic concepts of java servlet after java servlet you will learn what is the need of servlet and what is the difference between servlet and cgi so first and foremost i will talk about the world wide web means introduction to web what is web so web is basically a system of internet servers that supports formatted documents the documents are formatted using a markup language called html hypertext markup language that supports links to other documents like graphics audio and video files or generally web consists of billions of clients and server connected through wires and wireless network so you can see in the below figure client is connecting to server and in this figure first web clients make requests to a web server then the web server receives a request and finds the resources and returns the response to the client so before we proceed further let us understand what is the difference between static and dynamic web application so what is web application so web application can be of two types first is static web application and dynamic web application so what is static web application a static web application or static websites is the basic type of websites that is very easy to create you do not need the knowledge of web programming and database design to create a static websites its web pages are hardly coded in html so the so in the web application the page will remain same for all the users until someone changes it manually so the information contained in the web page do not change and it looks like a printed page so the web application do not use the database so database is do, database do not use in static web application because these pages will remain same for all the users and the content of static web application do not change now come to the dynamic web application so what is dynamic web application so in dynamic web application the content of pages change dynamically and is different for different clients a web application with dynamic functionality on the server is known as dynamic web application or for example google facebook baidu and twitter and many more are examples of web application so dynamic websites or dynamic web application is a collection of dynamic pages whose content changes dynamically it accesses contents from database or content management system therefore when you alter or update the content of the database the contents of the website is also altered or updated so dynamic websites use the database so with the help of database the content of the web application changes dynamically so what is the basic difference between dynamic and static web application therefore the main difference between static and dynamic web pages is that the content of a static page 
remains same for all the users. However, the content of dynamic web page changes based on the request from the client. So, let me understand with the help of example the difference between static and dynamic or dynamic what is dynamic web application. For example, consider a web application that shows you two input fields and and an addition button and when you enter two numbers and click on addition button like this you enter the first number 20 second number is 30 so it shows you another web page that has the result of addition of two numbers so this web application is dynamic in nature as the second web page that shows you the result changes based on the user input it is not static for all the users so that is the example of dynamic web application where the user can enter different different numbers and you will get a different output every time so basically this is all about the backend working of World Wide web now let us understand the link between web and http and what is http http is hypertext transfer protocol and it is a protocol that clients and server on the web to communicate means it is a communication protocol between clients and server it is similar to the other internet protocol such as smtp simple mail transfer protocol and ftp file transfer protocol http is a stateless protocol it means it does not maintain or record the state of the user or you can say it supports only one request per connection http is <coughs> stateless or you can say it does not record the state of the user so the http request can be made using a variety of methods but the ones which we use widely are get and post method get and post method are used to make http requests so now with the help of below table let us understand the difference between get and post method of http these two methods are the key methods to make http requests so let me understand what is the difference between get and post request or get and post methods so in the get method data is sent in the header body and in the post method data is sent in the request body in the get method data is restricted it means we can transfer limited data but in the post method it supports a large amount of data transfer get method is not secured post method is completely secured because the data is sent in the request body and in the get method web pages can be bookmarked but in the post the web pages cannot be bookmarked bookmarked so that is the difference between the get and post method now you have learned about the few basics of web and http now let us jump to the core topics and understand the concepts of servlet so what is servlet servlet is a java program that runs on the web server it is used for developing dynamic web application so servlets or simply we can say servlets are server side programs written in java that extend the functionality of web server so what is servlets so you need to remember what is servlets servlets are simple java programs that run on web server although servlets can respond to any request they are commonly used to extend the applications hosted by web server 
it is also a web component that is deployed on the server to create dynamic web page so in this figure you can see a client sends a request to the server and the server generates the response analyze it and sends the response back to the client so before we jump into the depth of servlet let us see the technology that was used before servlet came into the picture so that was cgi cgi is common gateway interface so before servlets we had cgi it is a standard way for a web server to pass a user's request to a application program and receive the response to forward to the user so what is cgi cgi does not support infrastructure infrastructure means cgi script does not provide the security of the data cgi script does not manage the session and cgi scripts does not provide instance persistence so no supporting infrastructure so these are the key drawbacks of the cgi and next one is inefficient cgi was inefficient to handle multiple client requests at the same time so cgi was not scalable so this is the cgi that's why we have a requirements of the servlets so on the other hand servlets loaded only once cgi creates infrastructure or it provides only interface between web server and programs cgi programs can be written in any programming language that makes it mostly platform dependent servlet only use java as programming language that makes it platform independent and portable another benefits of using java is that servlets can take advantage of the object oriented programming features of java so that is all about the difference between cgi and the servlets so servlets loaded only once it means it provides the infrastructure servlets provide security servlet provides session management servlet provides instance persistence but the cgi does not provide security session management and instance persistent and cgi also was inefficient to handle multiple requests simultaneously so let we understand so why did we stop using it and switch to the servlets let us understand this with the help of the working process of cgi and servlet now we will see how cgi scripts work so we have client and we have server client send a request to server server starts a cgi scripts scripts computes the results for server and quits after this server returns response to the client and another client send a request to server server starts the cgi script again it means every time when client send a request to server server creates script for each and every user so that was the working of cgi means new script for every client request cgi creates a new process for every client request let me see how servlet work we have client and we have server you can see client send a request to server server starts a servlet servlet computes a result for server and does not quit this is the major difference between cgi scripts and the servlets program servlets loaded only once and do not quit but i showed you cgi 
creates a script for every client request and quit. Now server returns response to the client and another client sent a request. Server calls the servlet again. It means servlet loaded only once in the memory. But CGI script creates process for each and every client. But in the case of servlet, it load only once in the memory and do not create a separate process for each and every client. So that was the difference between or that was the working process or working principle of CGI and the servlets. That's why we use the servlets. So with the help of servlets, servlets provide infrastructure. It means servlet provide the security management, servlets provide the session management, servlet provide instance persistence. But and servlets also scalable. Scalable means servlet can handle multiple client requests simultaneously because servlet loaded only once. It does not create different process for each and every client request. So let me see what is the major difference between CGI and the servlets. So you can see this is the comparison of the servlet and CGI based on some key points. If we talk about platform dependency, so CGI scripts was platform independent, but servlets inherit all the features of Java programming language, so it does not rely on the platform. So servlets coded are uh, servlets code are platform independent. If you talk about the creation of process, so I told you earlier CGI script create new process for each and every client but in the case of servlet it does not create new process for each and every client so that servlet loaded only once in the memory now if we talk about the key point runs on so it will runs on separate process and it will run on jvm java virtual machine cgi scripts or cgi codes was not secure and servlets are more secure in terms of speed cgi are slower than servlet and cgi script cannot be ported and servlets are portable so servlets are portable because servlets inherit the concepts of object oriented programming features of java so that was all about the comparison between cgi and the servlets so i hope based on the above comparison one can conclude why servlets are being used for web application so in the next session you will learn about the basic features of servlets and what is web container and what are the life cycle methods of the servlets after this you will learn servlet api and architecture of servlets thank you for watching this session have a good day